Hi, my name is Dr. Dave Williams and I'd like to welcome you to the conference Small Changes, Big Impact. I've had a very exciting career, a background that's taken me from underwater to outer space, working in emergency rooms, working in critical care environments. I've been very fortunate to have seen the planet from a very unique perspective. And in all of those experiences, all those lessons that I've learned, a couple of factors have emerged. To achieve success, it's absolutely critical to work together as a team. Understanding the complex environments of space, the lessons that we learn in those environments, helps us understand working in a complex environment of healthcare. When we go out and explore outer space, we refer to ourselves as working in a zero fault tolerant environment, an extreme harsh environment intolerant of error, the consequences of which can have significant mission impact. I would surmise that if you're in an operating room as a patient, you would like to think that an operating room is also a zero fault tolerant environment. Or working in an emergency department, a critical care environment, the lessons that we learn from the space program can help us in healthcare on a day to day basis. One of the things that we focus on relentlessly in space is working together as a team, influencing each other in the mission to make sure that we're able to bring the best that we can to the tasks on a day to day basis. In healthcare, we talk about organizational influence. Traditional leadership is influencing those who are working in the team around us. Often people think of this as a pyramid, where the leaders on top of the pyramid influencing those beneath them. I rather like to think of it as the leader is working together with the organization to affect positive change as we go forward and seek to address these really complex challenges we face in healthcare. One of the interesting aspects of the space program is followership. We refer to this as upward influence, the ability of an individual in the new organization to change the outcome of a decision that might be made or something that could adversely affect the organization. And of course, the last element of influence comes in the horizontal level, peer-to-peer -peer influence, the ability of each of us to work together and bring out the best in uh, each team member on a day-to-day -day basis. To determine whether or not we have the ability to influence in an organization, we have to reflect inwards and look at our personal competencies. Are we ready to do the job at hand? Are we bringing the best that we can to the job on a day-to-day -day basis? Sometimes in the work environment, we can come to accept things that we know really shouldn't be happening. We refer to this as the normalization of deviance. In fact, it was one of the things that led to the loss of the Space Shuttle Challenger in Columbia. However, if you sit back and look at the normalization of deviance in healthcare, sometimes we struggle to see it because it's right in front of us. A great example of this in crowded emergency departments is when patients get admitted to a bed on a monitor in the hall because we don't have enough beds in the actual hospital to move the patient from the emergency department up into a clinical ward environment. These things happen. They don't just happen within Canada, they happen globally. And I think the challenge that we have as healthcare professionals is is to recognize when we've normalized deviant behavior by accepting standards that don't meet those that we're trained to. One of the exciting ways to solve this is instead of focusing on the negative, let's focus on the positive. Finding the positive deviant solution in an organization, going out and looking for those areas where things are working really well and bring those ideas back to help all of us in our team environment on a day-to-day -day basis. At Southlake, I'm really excited. We've got a tremendous team. We strive to create a culture of safety and quality, and we live that culture on a day-to-day -day basis. We call it the Southlake Way. And we're committed to interprofessional practice where anyone on the team can speak up at any point in time, closing the loop in communication, making sure that we're addressing any of those complex challenges we face as healthcare professionals. Has it made a difference? There's no question. About eight to ten months ago, if you looked at our hand washing rate as an institution, we were around 60% compliance institutionally. That's a number that's consistent with many other healthcare institutions, but we challenged ourselves. We said we know we can do better. Working together as a team with team leaders going out and talking to frontline members, empowering frontline members to come up with solutions, we were able to get that number to over 90%, or today we're around 92%, and we've got four parts of the hospital that we're touching 100%. So we're able to change. One of the important elements of working together in a team is to empower everyone in the front line to come up with creative ideas, creative solutions, 
finding those positive deviant solutions that will make a difference. On our hand washing journey, our emergency department team came up with an idea on how to let us know that the alcohol dispensing hand washing container was empty. So we put a flag on the side that we could flip up to let the team know that it's empty and of course they get filled right away so we don't have any problems running out of the hand wash solution. These ideas are very important and I think if we empower all the frontline team members, we can come up with remarkable solutions to change the complex problems that we face on a day-to-day -day basis in healthcare. So yes, it really is about small changes having a big impact, finding those small changes on a day-to-day -day basis and over time you'll find that it takes an organization from one location and brings it to a totally different location, focusing on f working together as a dynamic team and uh, peak performing clinical environments is very, very exciting. So I hope you have a fantastic conference. I wish I could be there with you. Unfortunately, my schedule doesn't allow me to come uh, over to Wales. It's been a couple of years since I've been there and I love getting a chance to visit Cardiff. And I'm looking forward to visiting Cardiff later in April this year. Have a fantastic conference and always ask yourself introspectively, how can I improve as a leader? How can I improve as an individual? How can I continue to build my individual competencies so that when I go into the healthcare environment, I'm bringing the best that I can for my patients on a day-to-day -day basis. This is Dr. Dave Williams signing off from Southlake Regional Health Center, Newmarket, Ontario. Have a great day.